Good afternoon, Lace Jump, and I'm John. This is Betty Atruda, and welcome to Loop Hero, a game that is extremely hard to explain, but very easy to understand when you actually see it. So, uh, let's just dive in. Though, I will say before we begin, this is one of those games where I sat down just to get to grips with the basics for 10 minutes, and then two hours happened. Yeah, it's really damn good. So, the end of the world's been and gone. It's been a proper apocalypse, damn it. Not one of those little naff apocalypses where everyone's like, Oh no, somebody nuked me and we nuked them back. However shall humanity survive? No, proper apocalypse. The universe has run out of steam. Everything's disintegrating into dust and there's literally nothing left in the entire whole of existence other than this tiny camp I live in and a loop. Okay, a stone loop of wasteland that I'm just going to walk around because what else am I going to do? There's nothing else in the entire cocking universe. So if I just uh, unpause the game, that's me there, I start walking the path. Lovely. So I'm in control of that. That just happens automatically because, uh, you know what? There's nowhere else to go. There's no branches. It's a loop. I'm a hero on a loop The clues in the name. But you may notice I'm not alone. There is, in fact, yes, a slime on this particular wasteland. So just uh, nipping over here, and we'll start fighting each other. So in just a flipping second, yeah, I'm going to start attacking him. Lovely. Every time my blue bar fills up, I attack him. Every time his blue bar fills up, he attacks me. So that happens automatically as well. Basically, yes, all the movement, all the combat just handles itself. So what's the actual point of the game? The game is kind of like... It's like a roguelike city builder. It's very peculiar. Because yes, what am I actually doing there for? Every time I fight something, I remember how the universe used to be. Like I'm remembering things existed and thus I get to partially rebuild the universe around me. So down over here, I've remembered that a mountain exists. So I can just sort of remember a mountain into existence. So... Okay, we're just going to slap down a mountain right here. Not much I can do with it yet, but you may notice, yes, this is where things start getting a bit interesting. If I get multiple mountains and lay them down next to each other, then all of a sudden, I have got myself a lot of extra health. Very, very useful indeed. And on top of that, laying down that mountain gave me a pebble. So that's a resource we can start spending later. So you want to slap down as much stuff as you can. Meanwhile, over here, the battlefield's a bit different. The battlefield is something I can lay either on or adjacent to the path that affects the tiles next to it. So smells of blood and steel, marvellous. But at the start of each loop, because obviously I'm going to get back to the start because there's nowhere else to go eventually... As a result, that's going to spawn a little bonus chest. Absolutely flipping marvellous. However, enemies on adjacent tiles can become ghosts. That's bad. It means you need to fight them twice. Don't want a slime to become a ghost. Therefore, I want to keep that away from anything that spawns enemies. So we can just pop you, say, right here. That there, that is all absolutely fine. This spot would do beautifully. Absolutely spectacular. So now we just keep on keeping on. And when we get back around to the coast camp, then that will spawn a treasure chest. And then I get myself some good gear. Because right now, I've not got any good gear. I'm basically just, you know, using my starting gear or punching this guy in the face or something. And if we're very lucky indeed. Uh, okay. No luck on the old equipment just yet. But mountain can go next to other mountain. Then my health on the right there goes up to marvellous 260. Because uh, plus five for every adjacent mountain or rock. And now there's two mountains adjacent to each other. Lovely. Vampire Mansion, meanwhile, that's going to actually be powering up the enemies. So I don't really want that to be anywhere nearby enemies. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to put that up there. And we can form a nice little vampire neighbourhood in this corner of the map. And we're going to try and keep enemies away from that. Meanwhile, yep, just got a handful more little uh, slimes to kill here. Hopefully they'll give me some equipment soon. Instead, we got ourselves a, a meadow. Okay, so here are two hit points at the start of each day. Because yes, time is passing as I'm moving and even while I'm fighting too up in the uh, the top left there. Every time that passes, that's the end of a day. So I get a bit of healing at the end of each day. But meadows left on their own don't do much. But if you put a meadow adjacent to someone who's going to take care of the meadow, because apparently, you know, the vampires have just become farmers, then all of a sudden, that's going to become a blooming meadow. So, heals three hit points at the start of each day. So, it's all about putting things in the right position as you kind of remember the universe back into existence. Though, seriously, if someone would like to drop, say, a sword, I'd appreciate it. There we flipping go. Not a sword, but instead... A ring. So damage to all. If I'm fighting more than one thing at a time, now when I'm attacking one, everyone else takes two as well. Road Lantern. So decreases the maximum number of monsters on adjacent tiles 
effects of lanterns can stack. So, uh, yeah. Okay, I'm going to hold that for now, because right now, every square on the board is as likely to spawn an enemy as every other sub, because, yeah, vampire houses don't spawn vampires, they just add vampires to nearby fights. So keep on keeping on, let's go find ourselves a handful more slimes around over here. New day started, so we've got a tiny bit of health back, so everything's going to be just fine. And if I can make it back to, there we go, finally got a bloody sword. So shove that in over there, very, very nice indeed. Can I get a meadow down? Yeah, another meadow right over there. That is producing, uh, yeah, a little bit of rations. So uh, rations eventually will turn into proper food. That's a useful resource. Pebbles, collect enough of them. That becomes a nice bankable resource too. But um, the really interesting thing is uh, this stuff. Noticeable change. So uh, measurable, collectible, universe changing stuff. I just call it changium. Basically, if you do something that causes one thing to interact with another, like say these here flipping vampires are just doing some farming, that collects a bit of changium, which can eventually form a complete metamorphosis, which is like a thing you can hold in your hand. Look, the game's weird, all right? It's fine. I'm just going to keep holding on to that road lantern. We're fine for the time being. But yeah, now I'm murdering the slime way more effectively. Ooh, a treasury. Okay, so I can lay that wherever I want, and if I surround it with things, uh, that's good. So I'm just going to put you, like, say, over here. That there, that's all absolutely fine. So we'll just slap that down, and that could be a good place to put some meadows. Because apparently someone lives in the treasure or something. And I top up a giant pile of health, because we passed the camp. And on top of that, there's my treasure chest. So, more slimes need to be murdered. Lovely. There's a little bit more rock. So Rockies. Uh, Two hit points of every adjacent rock or mountain. Just slap that down next to my friend right there. And the treasure chest will hopefully give me something good. Start getting me, like, you know, set up a bit better. Now that's much better right there. So, shield, defense of six. Magic damage of two. Magic damage kind of, I think that bypasses enemy defense. And evasion together with vampirism. Vampirism is good. That means the percentage of damage you do, you get back as health. Because this game is all about surviving as long as you can. So, vampirism is a good good strategy. So that ring is, uh, yeah, damaged all two. The new one is damaged all two, but also 7% chance of countering and another two magical damage. So that is just superior. When you replace something, you just like toss it off the side of the road or something because it's just no longer there. So, okay, now we're going to be better because now I'm getting health back every time I attack, which is going to massively increase my survivability. Got myself a new axe. It's a tiny bit better. So just slot that in. Shield, however, is worse. So... Yep, now we just keep on keeping on until we can find ourselves some new things uh, to slap down and speak to the devil. That's rocks, which is not the best thing in the world. So what I'll do instead is I'll start creating a new spot for a mountain to go that's going to be really, really damn nice when the time is right. Okay, slime gives me another battlefield. So I'm going to slap that one down right over here. And if I put these two things next to each other or close by to each other, I suspect they're probably going to... Yes, they're going to interact. So that's created some changium because I've turned these tiles into blood paths. So yeah, that's no longer just going to potentially produce ghosts. It's also going to spawn a blood clot, which is like sentient and wants to murder you, which is marvelous. So what we should probably do is lay down this lantern right here. So now only a certain number of enemies uh, can spawn on top of each other because otherwise they might start stacking and it might become a bit of a problem. So uh, this guy should be no trouble whatsoever. Murder him. There is a blue mace, four to six, but damage to all as well. So we'll be taking that. Another treasury. Okay, now this is good because now I can have two treasuries uh, next to each other. Well, kind of next to each other. And this meadow is going to create, yes, lots of bonus junk. And that's also a blooming meadow. So that there, that is good. So, okay. Now we're starting to keep the ass of these guys uh, nice and fast. There's some yellow stuff. Obviously, that's good. Uh, armor, magic damage, damaged all, max hit points. Okay, that's pretty good. Uh, the ring, however, is not so good. Bonus chance to counter. I can do without that. So, uh, keep on keeping on. But, yeah, we probably want to slap down. If this were to go here... Okay, that's not being worked, but it does activate these guys. Because these guys want to be surrounded by something. Which is fine. Uh, this junk over here, by the way, that we don't need. Uh, we will be getting some use out of that in time. Don't you worry about that. There is some more stone. I'm just going to save up. I'm just going to save up for mountains. The best option would be to have mountains down the middle here. So I'm just going to saving up for mountains. Uh, there's my health topped up. And here's a giant pile of stuff. So now, okay, here's where the good stuff comes out. Get ourselves uh, shields. Uh, 
And also, ideally not shield. Something like a good weapon would be marvellous. No. So good armour. Way more max hit points, attack speed up. Yeah, I'll take that just for the armour. The shield, meanwhile, is more defence, but also a way bigger chance of counter. Countering's kind of fun, but maybe instead I'd rather take... Yeah, I'll just take the bonus vampirism and whatnot, and this is... That'll be the same defence, but way better chance of evasion. Rest of that will just leave. So, okay, I'm not hitting that hard, but you can always keep uh, yeah, an eye on your stats over here. Vampirism 7% is pretty weak. I do need more than that eventually. But I'm doing a decent amount of damage to all, so as we get more and more... Oh, that's a load of stuff. Okay, this is why we want to start laying down more stuff over here. By the way, we can just have uh, more vampire houses. Just a little vampire district over there. Lay you over there. That's food. That's blue. That's blooming. Tears a mountain in the middle, and that should generate a huge amount of. Look at that. Tons of bonus health right over there. Love it. And I've collected enough pebbles to have a preserved rock that I can actually use when this particular run's over. Because, yeah, uh, how this roguelike works in terms of how far you get is very interesting. We'll get to that when it starts becoming something I'm thinking about. Because uh, this game is all about, you know, uh, coming up with uh, the best time to retire. Okay, you don't always want to fight to your last. There's a reason why you might want to consider just cowarding out at some point. But for the time being, chrono crystals. So, yes, okay. Right now, I'm gaining 28 points every time the day ticks over. If I'm in the effect of chrono crystals, I can just lay down somewhere, then that's going to be doubled up to plus 40. So just make sure that's covering as many, uh, yeah, path tiles as possible. This will be a good spot for that. So if I get lucky and I pass by this area while the day goes by, that will be marvellous. Here's two for the price of one over here. And there's the first blood clots, which is uh, a little unfortunate. But what can you do? Kill that guy. Bunch of damage to all. Doing, uh, yeah, a good job softening up that guy. There is a, ooh, level two sword. Okay, six to ten. Way better. Regen per second and damage to all. Okay, so that's just better. Good, 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 good. And growth. So that I lay on the actual path and that generates, uh, yeah, a rat wolf for every two days and rat wolves can move. Rat wolves are not that strong, so I'd probably be fine putting that right here, right by the, then again, if they're not that strong, maybe towards the end, because then, yeah, I'll put them towards the end. I'll put them right at the end, so I'm not really worried by rat wolves. So then, road lantern. Okay, that lantern's already covering this. So that's all absolutely fine. Hold this lantern for the time being. Slime needs to go down. About to top up my health. We're in good shape. So this is going pretty smooth so far, but it's about to go, you know, wrong. Damage to all four, as opposed to two, plus two magical damage and chance to counter. Yeah, screw it, why not? We'll just shove that on, see how that goes. And now, multiple treasure chests, but blood clots, which are a little bit on the tougher side. But, you know, nothing we can't handle, whatever this is precisely. It's got more health, does more damage, but I've got plenty of health for the time being. Just keep it on your overall health, because if you regen and your vampirism means you're not losing much health overall, you're golden. He just became a ghost. Ghosts are annoying because they're high evasion. So, okay, got a bunch of stuff right over there. And shield is uh, counter 9%. So right now my counter is... Uh, Non-existent. Marvellous. And that is... Uh, all of that was kind of trash. Okay. Move on. Take out the next blood clot. And then open up the chest. See what we get. Okay. Just keep on keeping on. Everything's under control. It's all fine. You'll be dead in a moment. I'm taking a bit of a knock. Ooh. Level 4 gold armor. You can, by the way, just shove stuff on mid-fight if you want to. That's legit. So attack speed up 8% or way more max hit points for... Magic damage and evasion. Yeah, we'll slap that on. That's all absolutely fine. The Gladius would not give me regen anymore, but would mean I'm doing more damage, which when you blend it with vampirism means base damage can be useful. So screw it, we'll just uh, shove that on. You will be swapping out your equipment a lot, by the way. So that's fine. Also, we should probably just slap that down for even more free stuff. Lovely. And then slap down a mountain right over there. Do you want to hold this mountain? You know what? That's fine. Up to 668. That's a bunch of change armor. Because, yes, a group of hills and rocks becomes a, a mountain peak. Which is great, but also kind of does spawn, um, yeah, a harpy. So, more enemies coming in. But more enemies means more fighting. That's kind of good news in its own way. And the enemies are also getting tougher. Every time you loot, the enemy is getting tougher and tougher and tougher. Slap you down right over there. And as you actually start filling up the map a bit... Yeah, stuff starts spawning in. Goblin camps spawn goblins. Goblins are not fun. They can be uh, 
troublesome. They attack you very, very fast indeed. New day, tiny bit of healing, and now I've got no regen whatsoever. So, uh, maybe I shouldn't have given up my regen. My regen was not bad. Kill you, lovely. Another mountain goes down right over there. That's just a little bit more on the way of maximum health. In comes the first harpy, so that harpy's now waiting for me. No trouble, everything's under control. We shouldn't have another blood clot yet, right? And that is, uh, that's not a great shield. It's a tiny bit better. And there is my first rat wolf. These guys are a bit evasive, but they don't really hit that hard. So, uh, yeah, they're kind of a bit on the flimsy side. Another flipping one of you bastards in terms of road lanterns. But there's not much on the path that's spawning enemies right now. So, uh, I'll just hold them uh, for now. Ooh, Okay, Oblivion. Oblivion is fun, because Oblivion, I can just point out and say, hey, um, this tile's just going to not exist right now. So, if I wanted to just, like, not fight these here goblins, I could just say, right, well, you've been Oblivioned out of existence, and they just wouldn't exist. But I'm going to hold it for the time being instead. Just keep laying down, yeah, the meadows over there. That's all lovely. And help myself to a lovely, lovely chest. Come on, good stuff. Our oh, level 5 weapon. Okay, now that's good. 14 to 20. And attack speed and regen. It's pretty solid. Pretty solid right there. Now you're probably wondering, John, what happens when this thing fills up because you've got too much trash you're not using? That's good. Because then they start being converted into scrap metal, which you're going to be needing later. So that's actually why you want to be fighting as much as you can, while ideally not losing health. So one blood clock came back. One managed to unfortunately get away a little bit. My vampirism is... I'm getting a tiny bit of health back, but really not much. But I'm attacking nice and fast and hitting nice and hard. So I guess that'll do for the time being. Take you out. And then take you out too. Lovely. Goblin camp times three. I can deal with that probably. Oh, now this will do the job right here. Armor with vampirism and evasion and defense. 400 max hit points. That's pretty solid. And this shield is way better. But comes with damage to all and also bonus defense. I'll keep the vampirism. Vampirism right now is at 15%. That's not bad. That'll do. Actually, that's pretty solid. I'm going to put down another meadow over here. Giant piles of more stuff. Lovely. You're already covered by uh, this over here. So, yeah, just hold on to the rest of all of this. And, yes, goblins also have uh, rage. So, after an ally dies, uh, the king goblin it starts doing more damage. So, uh, these guys are going to hurt. Because I've just killed his, like, child or something. So, I can understand why he'd be a bit annoyed. Uh, take out the little lads. Uh, and then start taking out you in a moment. Yeah, they really hurt. That's more good armor, by the way. So, uh, okay, 435. Uh, that gives me... Oh, regen per second and vampirism. Yeah, we'll be going over to that, absolutely. Cemetery. So, that causes skeletons to spawn every three days. But we want to fight skeletons, and every time we pass through the cemetery, we'll be able to get a tiny bit of rock, because I guess we're, like, grave robbing or something. I'm not sure. But to make sure it doesn't get out of hand, let's slap down a lantern. So there's only so many skeletons that can spawn at once. But for the time being... Oh yeah, now we're getting somewhere. I'm doing way more damage, and I'm getting way more health back. So at some point, I might start actually making a profit. So slap down another cemetery right over there. Lay it down at some rocks, ready to go. Lovely. Grove, just pop that down next to the existing grove, because sometimes things merge together. So there's rock. There's even more rock. Lovely. More harpies coming in. And yes, it's going to start getting crowded at some point. More chrono crystals, so yeah, just put them somewhere where they're going to cover as much space as possible. Uh, would this be... That'd be... Yeah, that's fine. That's fine right there. Spider cocoon starts spawning spiders and road lantern. The thing you got to be careful of is, uh, yes, when you play something, you're causing, like, universe time to move on. So, if I play Oblivion, that kind of causes universe time to accelerate, and that's kind of bad, because that's going to draw the attention of, well, you may notice that Sans from Undertale is on this card. Yeah, he's going to be along at some point, and he's not going to be happy with me, because I'm trying to save the universe, and he's trying to blow it up for some reason. So, slap down a handful of skeletons over there. No, not skeletons, spiders. Spider cocoon. Spiders are fine. But yeah, we can take out these guys. No trouble whatsoever. There we go. Another spider cocoon. Do we want to put them next to each other? Yeah, we'll create a spider neighborhood. Why not? But that's all absolutely A-OK -okay for the time being. And as we've got spider neighborhoods right now, probably best we lay down a lantern right over here to stop the spiders getting out of hand. And now we just start, yeah, getting more and more stuff out of these treasuries. This here, this is beautiful. That's an absolute... Oh, this is where the vampires come in. Okay, so the vampires are now coming in to support, unfortunately. 
And yeah, when they attack you, they get their health back. So they're sort of like helping and protecting the slimes. So I need the vampire to go down first. And that's going to take a little bit longer. So I'm going to take a little bit more damage here. But they do drop good stuff. And yeah, if you want to, you can just, yeah, change stuff right here. So damage to all four versus damage to all five. And counter chance and defense. Yep, that's just superior. So then just keep attacking you, buddy. There's another rock. That's another bit of armor, but it's not going to be as good. More coming in over there. No trouble whatsoever. With only one slime and one vampire. Yeah, bear in mind, I'm going to get a big part of health back when we actually end this fight. And I'm gaining constantly from my regen, because I'm gaining passive regen. Yeah, the game starts off nice and slow and simple, but it gets out of hand very fast. Now we've got a slime and a harpy who flew in from the mountains. They're a little bit tougher. They hit a bit hard, but they've not got that much health, so they're not too scary. And now, yes, now we're starting to convert old stuff into trash. So this is counter evasion. No, that's not as good. Okay, take you out. And then in a moment, we're going to have to start laying a few bits and pieces out here. So lay a rock right over there. Lay you right over there. Another vampire mansion to join the neighborhood up there. Because we want to keep that away from spawners. You don't want them anywhere near, say, the woods or the spiders. Because then, yeah, your spider friends will have vampire assistance. That would be very, very bad indeed. And this beacon lets me move faster within its range. So, honestly, that seems like a fair place for that, just so I move a bit faster. Lovely. Spiders, here we go. Okay, so I'm taking out spiders, but their evasion's a little bit on the high side there. Some more meadow. Just start, yeah, let's start uh, sacking these here treasuries. When they're fully surrounded, they become fully sacked, and they pay out a lot. So, this here is a good little layout. Marvelous. No, you don't. No, you don't. No, you don't. And, boom. That is Transformium and giant piles of stuff, too. Flip and love it. Plus, ooh, that ring is uh, more vampirism and more attacks. Yeah, that sinks really nicely. And the shield is uh, attack speed up. No, I'd rather have the vampirism. So I think we're golden uh, for the time being. This sword would hit a bit harder and come with bonus magic damage. Okay, that hits harder too. Ooh. No, I'm going to go over to that. We'll see how that does. So now I'm doing bonus magic damage, which should help me... Oh, yeah, look at that. I'm hitting a lot harder all of a sudden. Wouldn't mind another mountain... If you'd be so kind, there's a new ring, by the way. That is uh, regen. Ooh, that's a lot of regen, actually. 2.4 is a lot of regen. That's arguably worth more to me than 6% vampirism. So I'm going to put that on uh, right now. We're going to put down a new grove uh, right over... Ooh, that's not a great place for a grove, because then we're going to have... Uh... Then again... That might stop spiders spawning from here so much. Because, yeah, the place will be clogged with the wolves. So that there, that's fine. Put another beacon down somewhere just to speed life up a little bit in... Which part of the world? Over here, that's not too bad. Get more rocks down. Wait for mountains, though. And do not cast oblivion if we can avoid it. So, yeah, now three of the rat wolves at once. That's all absolutely A-OK. -okay, because, yeah, I'm getting a bit of health back. We're also gaining... Magic damage ring. No, that regen's too powerful. I can't turn it down. So, one of them's dead. Another one's dead. Another ring coming in. That's even more regen. That's a lot of regen right there. Okay, so even though my vampirism is... Uh, my vampirism's at 19%. And on top of that, I get myself, yeah, passive regen. As long as time is ticking along. Yeah, you can't just stop. You have to be walking. You can't not. So, go over here. 9, 10. Very, very nice indeed. Uh, put another grove uh, here. To try and slow down the spiders. Uh, and now we're going to be going back to camp. Top up my health at least mostly. One little slime to keep me off here. Couple of blood clots to deal with. But also get treasure chests. Oh hang on hang on hang on. Meadows. Okay one and two. And the treasury is now empty. Now the problem with emptying a treasury is it kind of spawns gargoyles. Which is bad. So everything you can do that's good in some ways uh, is bad in others. So you've got to be careful of that. And everything is getting tougher all the time. Still, perfect location here. Mountain, rock, up to 942 in terms of maximum health. So two clots here today. Uh, and I'm getting a little bit of health back. I'm doing a bit of evasion as well. My evasion is only 7%, so I really shouldn't be banking on that. Ooh, yeah, blood clots. They kind of hurt. Still, they do drop a whole bunch of cards, uh, which is nice. I'm down to like half health already. Still, this is like one of the toughest fights on the board, and I'm already done with it, so that's all absolutely fine. One of them became a ghost. Well, that's just being a dick. But then again, that kind of also generates even more cards. So that's fine too. So that ring is uh, evasion, regen, and magic damage. No, that's not good enough to justify 
That meanwhile is damage to all two evasion. I'll leave that. The shield is way better in terms of defense. Attack speed, but I'll be giving up some vampirism. You know what? For the attack speed, no, I'm going to leave that actually. This one, however, is actually, yeah, down over here. That's 21 to 31. Okay, but I lose 9 magic damage, but I also get attack speed. We'll give it a go. We'll see how that works out. I might regret that. And this armor down over here, level 6, which is generally a good sign. It's better. It comes with some magic damage and some damage to and some regen. Yeah, slap it on. We'll change that out. That's all absolutely fine. And then start slapping down more flipping mountains. I'll do. There's now two camps on the field. Good. Good, 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 good. So now we just start laying down, yes, uh, meadows next to the vampire houses. So they can just get on with farming. Put down another lovely skeleton in range of this. So yeah, there can't be too many enemies stacked on top of each other because of those lanterns, which is really good. If it's just one, we're fine. And I am regenerating a little bit, but not too much. The gear's not spectacular. What have we got here? Level 5 golden. Worse comes with magic damage and regen. No, that's... I can't justify that. We can't be justifying that. That's not good enough. Not good enough. Right. Keep on keeping on. But bear in mind, yes, yeah, shields give you, like, um, different things. So, shields give you, like, defense, whereas armor tends to give you max hit points instead. So, they are a bit on the, um, the different side. In fact, you know what? To be honest, screw it. I'll take some more defense. I could do with a bit more defense. You're a bit annoyed because I killed your child. Fair enough. You'll be dead in a moment. Ooh, level 6 shield. 15, but comes with... Oh, that's a lot of magic damage. And vampirism. Take it. Take the shield that sucks their health out. Good. Good, 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 good. Right. On to the Skellingtons. So, Skellingtons attack very slowly, but hit pretty hard. That's a level 7. A ring right over there. So, all right. Regen versus magic damage and counter and 9% vampirism. I'll give it a go. Why not? So, now we're getting... Uh, to be honest, not much. He's going down there. is an even better ring, potentially. So magic damage, defense. Uh, I'll leave that. That's fine. That's a basic slime. Slimes eventually become a good source of health, which is great. By the way, new battlefield. So now there's three chests going to be along here, though. These are now blood paths, which are a little bit on the dangerous side. Slap down a new little mansion over to here. You can just go there, right over there. Save the oblivion card for now. And now, yes, Harpy and Blob. Nothing too dramatic. The shield is uh, getting so fast. That was only level 3. That was garbage. Yeah, I'll we'll hold at Vampirism 18% for the time being. Wouldn't mind that being higher. That was a counter. That was good. Uh, okay. We got a lot of resources right now. So, uh, right. In a moment, we're going to have to have a discussion about what we do uh, next. So, kill you. There's some more flipping rocks. Very, very nice indeed. Start trying to lay out a good spot for more mountains. Uh, and more farming for... Is that by any chance like a super blooming? No, it can't be double farm. That's a bit of a shame. Level 7 armor, way better in terms of max hit points. Does come with defense. Comes with lots of defense. And attack speed up. Okay, right now my defense is 15. But I'd be giving up. Okay, that's not much... That's a lot of damage. No, I'm going to stick with high damage. Because high damage means vampirism and lots of it too. Right, slap down mountains. More health. We're over a thousand hit points right now, which is pretty good. So now we just take you out, buddy. More flipping planes coming in. Okay, the gargoyles are now coming in. They're now trying to arrive. Marvellous. So get over to here. Now could we put you down... Here, next to this beacon. That'll do. That's still blooming. So yeah, now every time... We enter a new day. I'm getting 54 hit points and double if I'm inside the Chrono Crystal effect. But uh, on this occasion, that might happen because, yeah, this fight's going to be a bit slowed down by the vampire, who I'm also vampiring right now. That's a level 6 ring. That is evasion. No. Well, there's regen as well. No, I'll keep the vampirism. Okay, so we might be able to get some health back off all of these vampires. Oh, yeah. This is good. Now we're hitting pretty hard and we're actually gaining health. Off all of this. Slap down a new grove over there. That's all absolutely fine. Maybe just slap this down just to slow down the rate of, yeah, spawning of slimes. Uh, but for the most part, we're doing a good job here. I'm holding at about 570, which is good news. So now just start uh, 
yeah, laying out some good little mountain spots. So yeah, that's going to be good mountain spots if that becomes available. More spider cocoons, so lay that down. But you may notice, by the way, the um, the boss meter is starting to get a bit close to full. When that happens, uh, that could be uh, that could be trouble. Oh, that was a nice big old pile of stuff, by the way. Lovely. Oh, he gave me a level six golden rapier. So uh, less powerful in terms of base damage, but comes with attack speed. Uh, and also vampirism. Yep, I will swap out for that. So vampirism now at 29%. There's a good mountain. 1,074 hit points. Lay down another battlefield right here. Just give me chest, chest, chest. And more flipping chests. And uh, where can we slap down? Can I slap down? Yeah, a meadow next to a uh, little lantern for... Yes, that is blooming. Someone is manning the lantern, I suppose. But now we're entering a uh, dangerous territory here. Which is... Uh, Yes, many, many spiders, many, many gargoyles. Okay, you're going down, no trouble. Double spider shouldn't be an issue. I'm kind of gaining health as fast as I'm losing it. And I'm also gaining from day to day. Enter the woods gets me a ton of wood. So, take you out in not quite one hit, unfortunately. Down you go, buddy. Very, very nice indeed. No, stop, stop, stop for a second. Uh, there's a treasure ring. Okay. I would like to get as much out of that treasure as I can. So that there, that's just good meadows. Uh, lovely. Slap down all of this. Slap down a mountain. 1,100. That's pretty good. If I need to, I can just hit the oblivion button right now. Okay? To clear a space. But I think with only three of them able to spawn, thanks to the guard tower, we should be okay. And now we're also getting a ton of scrap metal because we're just picking stuff up so damn fast. So fast. And uh, Chrono Crystal. Yeah, give me a Chrono Crystal right here because it's going to be slow going through here. You can kind of tactically lay the Chrono Crystals because you know that an area where you're going to be spawning lots of enemies, you're going to be going through slowly. So that there, that's all golden. Right, take you out, take you out, take you out. Please stop evading me. Thank you. There's another mountain. Lovely. And um, just FYI, uh, the, the boss at the end of the universe has just... Um, has just spawned. That's the incursion. So this is kind of where we have to start thinking very carefully about uh, how you uh, how you play the game. Because uh, okay, here's where you have to make a very difficult decision right now, which is uh, I've got all this stuff up here. All right, three stable metals, five stable woods, uh, one stable changium, uh, some food, uh, some rock. Okay, so I want to get that back to base. In a perfect world. That would be spectacular if I could do that. And I can do that right now. There is the retreat you coward button. And you can push it anytime you're not in a fight. Okay. But if I do that. I'm going to only keep 60% of what I found. Everything else sadly is just going to get lost. Okay. So that's going to be a bit on the, uh, the unfortunate side. Alternatively. If I decide to try and fight the incursion at the end of the universe, then what's going to happen is if I die, then I'm going to lose a lot more than that. I still get to keep something, but really not much. However, if you actually get back to, yeah, your camp, then you can just leave for free. Okay, but that's really, really unfair and mean, because when you're at your camp, you've just topped up your health. You're as strong as you can be. So you've got to decide whether you want to not do another loop, and keep everything you've got, just bank it, cow it out at any point, and get to keep most of what you've got, or risk dying, at which point you might be in a bit of trouble. And I'm not sure I'm strong enough. I'm really not sure I'm strong enough, actually. I've got a tiny handful of potions that'll give me a little bit of health when I drop below that little marker right there, but it's not going to do much. I mean, what I could do is just get rid of these two, because, yeah, you can't oblivion the final boss, would you cocking believe? Okay, I'm going to fight him just to show him off, but I'm going to lose. Uh, so this is... Say hello to Sans. Sans lives in this universe. And he um, he's not a happy bunny. And he's going to have way more health than me. So, he's got himself 900 hit points. I've got 600. But he does 100 damage an attack. I do not do 100 damage an attack. Okay, attacks per second, uh, 0 0.36. What's my attacks per second? I don't know, because I don't view the world like that. But um, it's it's not going to be good. It's, it's not generally going to be good at all. So I'm going to try and attack him. 
Yeah, 135. I'm getting 12 back a go. And I'm just, um, I'm losing badly. And obviously, as I'm doing a fight, I can't, I can't escape. So, I mean, I'm doing a bit to him. And I'm attacking faster than he can, which is my one advantage. If I got a really... I was just starting to get hopeful there. I was just starting to get hopeful. So, yeah, you get to keep 30%. Of what you found, unfortunately. So I get to keep like a little bit, but not too much. Yeah, Sans, he's he's tricky, damn it. But that's fine, because as we say, we still get to keep some stuff. And welcome to my camp, because I didn't die, I just like fell unconscious or something. So now I can take all of what I just found and potentially bank it, turn it into something more useful. Because yeah, you start off with just a basic campfire, so that's what gives you 30% of your health every time you pass by the loop. However, I've already built the field kitchen, which makes it a tiny bit more powerful. And the herbalist hut, which gives me a handful of tiny potions just to further increase my survivability. And I've built one farm, so that means, yeah, I get free food supplies for every loop I complete, up to the number of farms that exist in my area. So I've got, yeah, these are farms right there. That's my farm. That's the gardens around the farm. That's my campfire. And those are my two buildings. And there's a lot of flipping things you can try and put together, but, uh, okay, let's stay focused on the ones we know what we're dealing with here, which is, uh, I could get a smithy down if I just gather, yeah, a fair whack more in the way of scrap metal, and that would let me start off with some basic warrior gear, and also let me craft tools once I build a supply depot. So, okay, that just accelerates my start a bit, but alternatively over here, refuge. That gives me a brand new class, different way of playing the game. So, okay. All I need for that is a, a giant pile of wood and some food. But food's going to come in because I've already built a farm. So really, all I need is a giant pile of wood. That there, that should not be too difficult to do. And uh, yeah, uh, plot twist. This game's also kind of a deck builder. Because uh, you get to select what's going to show up that the enemies are, are dropping. So the rules say between 7 and 12 things need to be activated. So between 2 and 4 on this row, between 2 and 6 on this row, always 2 on this row, between 1 and 3 on this row. So if you don't want vampires, just say, well, I don't want vampires. But if there's no vampires, there's going to be less to fight and vampires are useful for farming. So everything's got good and bad sides to it. But yeah, what I want is wood. So I want groves, obviously. Do swamps produce woods? I don't know, but they seem more likely to do so than cemeteries, which produce stone, which I do not need. All right, stone is plentiful off the back of rock. So that's as much as I can have on. If I want more, I'm going to need to turn some stuff off. So I've also got the um, the blood grove. So living forests, basically, if you're within the range of that, then enemies that get to 15% of their health just sort of die. But it also kind of spawns terrible things. So I find that that's more dangerous than it's worth. So, begin a new loop, and my objective now is gather a giant pile of wood, if at all possible. And now the loop randomizes because none of that was real. All of that was me just sort of remembering stuff that wasn't actually there. So now the universe is sort of reset, and we're back to where we began, aside from the benefits you build at your camp. And, okay, I won't say no to, you know... A nice orange magic ring with a defense and counter and vampirism on the first flipping thing. That's... Oh, that's even better. Screw that. I'll take 9% vampirism on my first go. There is a swamp, by the way. So, yeah, just slap down a swamp right there. See what that generates. So, that generates... Literally nothing aside from enemies. Fine. Okay, battlefield comes in over here. No trouble. Just slap that down on the... Uh, on the corner. Maybe try and keep them separate because I don't really want a, um, yeah, a blood march. Those things are a bit on the, um, uh, the tough side, actually. There's a mountain to keep me off on stone collection. Yeah, there's no trouble with stone. 10 million stones. That's not an issue. Now, Grover. That's what I want to see. Let's get 10 million flipping Grove sorted out. Put swamps next to swamps because that seems like generator, uh, you know, transformium. So that seems like a good sort of a thing. Let's just lay you over there, get you moving in the right direction. There's my first bit of stone. And yeah, now we just kind of hope for some good equipment. All you really want out of loop one is a, a handful of decent equipment. Uh, beacon, oh, that's nice. 
That's nice right there. So tons of bonus movement speed. Uh, this whole area. Get you over here. Get you over to say here. If we can have a mega forest. That would be great. And seriously. If someone would like to drop a sword. That would be marvellous. No. Just an armour for the time being. Dear oh flipping dear. Couple of meadows though. Though. Ah. Perfect. I was about to say nowhere for the meadows to really go. But. No matter. Treasury. Treasury should hopefully produce a little bit of... Uh, yeah, change your um, food, a uh, little bit of wood and whatnot, good start. And also that's, you know, bonus healing at the end of each day. So that is never going to be a bad thing. Okay, another beacon comes in and also want to have myself with chrono crystals. So, all right, good spot might be up there. That'll do us a good starting point. So, all right, seriously, guys, sword. Give me a sword. Give me a damn... Okay, you know what? All rocks. Rocks are fine too. Build you over here. Just start laying down all of that. Loads of bone stuff here. Marvellous. In a moment, we're going to start entering... Here we go. The treasure chest. But more importantly, the woods. The woods are just around the corner. So that's going to get me the wood that I need, damn it. So you over there. You over there. Just keep whacking you. And level two shiny weapon. Okay, actual damage, counter, not much regen, tiny bit, not spectacular, but it'll have to flip and do. Right, get you over there, get a treasury in play over in this sort of a direction. That should do as a starting point. Okay, first bit of proper real armor, bit of bonus defense, not a bad thing at all. Lots of this just trash. Meadow starts going around over to here, so that means both of them generate something. Starting to build towards that, and now we're starting to gather wood fast. Okay, that's why I want all of these here groves. As many groves as we can find uh, will be spectacular. And then just start laying it down all of you. Wood is flying in. Level 3 sword comes with more damage. A lot more damage, actually. I'd only be giving up. Yeah, you know what? Even though it's a basic, I'll go for that. That's all A-OK. -okay. Chrono Crystal is another good spot right over there for them. And the mosquitoes have started spawning. Okay, mosquitoes are weak, but they're kind of annoying. Uh, because, yes, they're very evasive. So, uh, they don't take much to uh, bring them down, but they are going to irritate you in the meantime. Uh, don't need to use Oblivion, obviously. So, yeah, these guys are probably going to be evading. And, yeah, they just do tiny amounts of damage, but one good swing when you can eventually hit them uh, will finish them off. It's just tiny bits of chip damage. Very irritating indeed. And down you go with Golden Ring. Okay, Defense, attack, and regen. That's a lot of regen. I'll take that, actually. So give up the vampirism. Take the passive regen instead. Not bad. Though, inside a swamp, regen works in reverse. Because, yes, you get screwed over by the disease in the swamp, I suppose. Right, nice simple walk home. Brings me to treasure chest. All right, come on. Let's get some good weaponry here. That's a good ring instead. So... All right, vampirism appears to be back on the flipping menu. 8% and evasion and counter tiny bit of regen. Yeah, go on. That's a good little jack of all trades right over there. But what I really need is metal. So given I want to gain a giant pile of metal, I need to keep going until I start running into more enemies. More enemies is good. Start spawning just a handful of spiders over to here. Every dead enemy equals a chance of stuff. That equals metal. Everything's going to be golden. Slap down at more mountains. Lovely. Slap down more stuff there. Here we go. Now we're moving in the right direction. In fact, yeah, we're already up to two sustainable woods I get to keep right now, which is marvellous. And we're only on loop three. Though this time around, the mosquitoes can take a hit, unfortunately. Because, yes, everything just automatically gets stronger depending on the round. Everything constantly gets stronger. Uh, by the way, we're just going to be putting you down right here so that the mountains can do their more important work. Thank uh, you. And now we should be able to uh, two-shot them. Uh, vampirism doing uh, a decent job. And bear in mind, yeah, time is just healing me as well. Okay, I've laid out some good spaces for... Oh, there we go. Uh, mountains and also a proper mountain range as well. That's the easiest source of transformium. Just, you know, a 3x3 three three grid of rocks and mountains is marvellous. Only one battlefield yet, though, so that's a little bit on the unfortunate side. Uh, right, chop you down. Uh, we've got loads of woods going on, uh, and we're going to start picking up the scrap metal now in a hurry. We're kind of now to the stage where, yes, we're going to start picking that up real fast. Now, tons of max hit points and evasion up. Okay, pick up my evasion up a little bit. It's like 20%. That's not bad. Uh, or bonus defense. Currently, uh, defense is currently on 15. I'll take some evasion. We'll see how evasion goes. 
But yeah, now it's just the wolf rat. So we're going into the forest. We're getting the wood. Wood is going to be useful for a few bits and pieces. That is exactly what I've already got. Don't worry about that. Do have more meadows coming in. And we're close to clearing out the um, the treasuries. So that there, that would be marvellous too. Excuse me, give me some health back. Yeah, high defense together with vampirism. Uh, those two things go together real nice, actually. Lay you down there, ready for another mountain. And are we ready to do our first... We're not ready for our first clear of a treasury. Not just yet, anyway. Instead, uh, just a giant pile of wolf rats, which should just be easy stuff. And they cannot get past my defense. So... I'm pretty much getting back everything I'm losing. There's my first cemetery. I I thought I turned you guys off, but maybe I forgot. Uh, okay, so everything is under control. Just need to take you out, buddy. But yeah, they just, they cannot touch me right now. And when the treasure is clear, that's going to be a good flipping day. Also, yes, road lantern over here. Let's stop this area getting too out of hand, if you'd be so kind. Okay, we got ourselves a vampirism shield here. I'll give that a go. A little bit less defense, but... Oh, I'm still getting a lot back. Okay, there's a goblin camp over by the forest these days. Uh, not a massive issue. You just die. Yeah, I'm kind of managing to heal back about half of what I'm taking, which is a pretty good place to be. Before we enter the swamp, lay down cemetery number two. Uh, get down more rocks, ready to assist with uh, mountains. Lay down more swamp up over to here. Keep the oblivions in hand. Uh, we should be okay. They can't really do much to me, but darn it, I can't quite take them out in one hit. But yeah, they actually hurt themselves by trying to drain my health, which is a little bit on the peculiar side. But I guess I'm diseased and they're drinking diseased blood, which I didn't think bothered mosquitoes, but maybe it does. I'll tell you what, they're giving me 10 million things, so I'm not going to complain. All right, giant piles of weak enemies, kind of ideal in some ways. And if you wouldn't mind hitting them at some point, that'd be great, buddy. Right, lay down battlefield number two, and if we can, is this going to make a blood path? No, that does not create a blood path, it's just two chests for free. Excellent. So, then a bigger one of you, this should be. First broken, yep, there we go. First broken treasury, great. Chrono crystals, uh, where's a good spot for you guys? That's a good spot. That's a good spot. I've not really run into many of you guys today. I've also got two Oblivions, uh, but don't worry about any of that. Straight through over to here. And yeah, this is... That's fine. Yet more flipping cemeteries. We've just got a massive cemetery. So I'm going to be flipping Swimming in Stone, uh, which is uh, which is nice. About two-thirds of the way to Sands uh, showing up. There's my first proper scrap metal. But now it's going to start coming in uh, nice and fast. Right there. Okay, we're going to start picking things up real fast at this point. Also, do I want to actually put a better thing on right here? There is a... Uh, that's damage. Damage to all. And defense and magic damage. That's a lot better. Right, go over to that. So now I'm doing bonus damage to everybody. And I'm also getting loads of defense right there. Defense is really, really damn... Oh, look at that. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. And also that is not enough to break this one. Not quite, but pretty close. So uh, straight through to you uh, and Jack. At some point, we've got to make the decision whether we're backing out. But you don't want to back out too fast if you're after scrap metal, because scrap metal starts piling in more towards the end of the game here. I'm only on level 3 or so, so 10 to 16, defense, regen. No, leave that for the time being. Oh, we're slaughtering even the skeletons right now. Excellent. In fact, you know what? If I'm going for vampirism, then bonus damage should be a thing to do. So let's try that. So now I'm doing bonus damage as well. So, oh yeah. Oh, ho, ho. Oh yeah, buddy. Is that a two-shot? That's a two-shot skeleton. How's that shield doing, by the way? That shield is 16 defense and also bonus defense on top of the defense. I'd be giving up some vampirism. But my vampirism is only 16% right now. So to be honest, I feel like I'm just going to take damage. And oh yeah, 39, dead. Here we go. And mountain. I've been laying out perfect spots for mountains, especially. Okay, I've got all sorts of special and wonderful spots available. Uh, put you... Oh, that's a very late treasury, to be honest. Uh, I've already got 10 million beacons. I do not need any more. But I guess I'll put one uh, to help me through the forest a little bit, I suppose. Uh, right, break treasury number two. That is... Oh, there we go. That scrap metal right over there. Right, get working on you. I'm up to plus 41 or 82 under the effect of Chrono Crystals in terms of daily healing, which is not bad at all. And now we got two chests coming in and no blood clots because I've kept those battlefields apart. So uh, that is counter. What's my current ring, by the way? My current ring is a tiny amount of regen, 8% vampirism. Okay. 
I could increase count chance, which right now is 6%. Or 12%. And also bonus magic damage. Screw it. Give it a go. Why not? It's fine. Everything's under control. This might give me some really good stuff, by the way. The chests are often going to be, you know, the good stuff. So, uh, no, on this occasion, the chests were actually uh, stuff here. Though. Actually, that's fine. That's up to 862. That is no trouble whatsoever. More groves. More wood. All right, let's have 10 million cocking woods here. This is... Oh, I'm filling up the board a little bit fast, actually. More mountains, though. Mountains are giant piles of health. That's level 4 stuff, which is a little bit underwhelming. Defense up. Alternatively, that shield is a lot worse in terms of defense, but does do magic damage and attack speed. Screw it! Shove it on, shove it on, shove it on, shove it on. You go over there. This mountain range is going really nicely. Now we just go into the woods and giant piles of wolf rats who I can... Not quite two shot. That's a bit unfortunate. But this is just giving me tiles and tiles and more flipping tiles. 70% vampirism ring. Done. Flipping done. Okay. High damage, anti-vampirism. Oh, yeah. Getting eight back right there. That's a lot of survivability. That's some good stuff. Okay, I'm picking up basic level 6 stuff, which is therefore much better in terms of stats, but would lose me a lot of other stuff. So, uh, that hits a lot harder. I'd be giving up a tiny bit of damage. I mean, that's got to be better anyway, to be honest. Right, basic plain axe. Just whack them with my whacking stick, it's fine. So, uh, they're coming for me. These guys attack real damn fast. But, they're going to give me 10 million bits of equipment. And all the rest of it. Down you go, buddy. There's a ghost over there as well. All right, job done. Nothing too dramatic there. That is damage to all evasion. No, I like my ring. My existing ring is fine. I could give up some magic damage for tons more health. That's a lot more health. And we're getting close to Sans making his appearance potentially. Right, in preparation for that, let's just try and, uh, yeah, break out all of this if we can. Uh, by the way, Chrono Crystal, uh, there's not a great spot for it. I guess we'll just shove it on this corner right over here. And uh, more rocks, please, in case of more mountains. Maybe leave that spider cocoon. That's all absolutely fine. Into the swamps we go with Odia. Oh Angry Goblin at the back, but at least we're going to take him down next. My health is looking a bit worryingly low. Also, we were getting hit by an archer from the camp. Sorry, didn't realise they did that. Okay, Give me 10 million more bits of defense. I feel like I need that right now. That'd be good, actually. Yes. Okay, into the swamp. I'm down to... I'm out of potions. I'm really struggling here. And I'm walking into... Oh, Spider Central. Right. Give me that. That's going to be a lot more base health. But it doesn't increase my current health. Ooh, my vampirism. Yeah, I've got no regen at all. And nothing's going to give me a huge amount of regen, actually. And I'm a little concerned. Just start slapping this stuff down anywhere that's going to give me any advantage. Okay, maybe. Maybe what we do is we think about cowding out. I'm taking a lot of damage, actually. I'm taking an awful lot of damage, actually. Oh, dear. Okay, um, that's just a blob. That's fine. Break the bank here. Okay. It might be time to start thinking about going really soon. There is another treasury. I can slap down it here that I can therefore slap down to get a bit more stuff going on here. There is a good mountain to be had. Uh, it's an okay mountain. It's fine. I can take the next handful of fights without it being too much of a difficulty. In fact, I'm actually gaining. That's all oh, with 38... I think this is the point where you coward out. We're not making it through... Oh, we're not making it through cocky... Oh, bloody hell! Skeleton Town? No, we're not making it through Skeleton Town. Sorry, it's time to go, actually. But we're still going to get to keep most of what we just earned. So that's all absolutely fine. Okay, so that could get me the smithy. Which gets me, yeah, some good stuff potentially in terms of just starting off a bit stronger. But to be honest, I'm more interested in a new class. So I just need uh, one more wood... For that. So what we're going to do is we're just going to dive straight in. And we're just going to beeline to, yeah, a wood. That's all I want. And then we're just going to get out nice and safe. And best way to do that would be to stack the deck in my favour. So, yeah, turn off cemetery. Swamp Sally doesn't produce that. Let's get the number of cards down to 
the lowest we can actually uh, pull off here. So, uh, screw spidey cocoons and... Uh, what else can we uh, turn off, by the way? And Oblivion. I never use Oblivion because it's dangerous. So let's get that down to 9. So that should increase my chances of seeing what I need to see. Just as many groves as possible. Okay, objective complete. I've got the what I wanted. And now you see how mean the game is. Which is, uh, at this point, being a camp, I can just go back to, you know, the camp. But if I do that, these here battlefields, uh, I'll never get to see what was inside that chest. And uh, I'm quite strong right now, so no, resist. Be good, retreat, I get to keep everything as long as I retreat right now, which is fine. Because that means we can now build a refuge. So we can build that, say, over here. Lovely. And now we have got ourselves somebody new to fight with. So as opposed to the warrior, we have now got ourselves the rope. So receives trophies after killing enemies in battle, exchanges them for equipment in camp. Has 5% vampirism from the start, 10% bonus for any effect for every equipped item with the same- Oh, he's just a vampire! Okay, you could just say you're a vampire. We like vampires, they make good farmers. For the most part, we got no trouble with them. Okay, so here comes our lad with vampirism at uh, 5% and 10% chance for 140% damage. And yes, he can't get rings, but he can get like- boots. So, oh, he's got, oh, two weapon slots. Okay, right. Well, I'm happy with this lad. This lad's good then. Gotcha. So, just going over there. Start whacking you. Let's see what we got over here. And we got ourselves a number of trophies. Okay. So, right. When we get back there, we can do something with all of that. For the time being, though, just lay down a rock and a mountain. That's the right order of play. Let's give us have a tiny bit more health here. Let's just see what we got, uh, yeah, to kick us off with here. Because I just got built-in vampirism because I'm blatantly a vampire. Right, uh, we can have uh, some vampires over here. And this is quite a short loop, actually. This loop looks really small. I swear this is smaller than some of the ones I've seen before. Oh, yeah, and he doesn't have a shield slot. Oh, Okay, so he's going to be way more flimsy, like dumb levels more flimsy. Gotcha. All right, lay down the uh, spider cave. Got our first spider fight on. Okay, shouldn't have laid that there. Kind of a bad idea in some ways. Don't really want to be fighting spiders uh, this early. But I guess, you know, more enemies on your first round is not going to be the worst thing. Even more flipping loot coming in. I don't really want to lay down... Actually, you know what? I can lay down a meadow right here. That's a good bonus blooming meadow right there. But I kind of need something else to show up before I do much more in that regard. Also, I need somebody to drop a cocky weapon of some description. Okay, got a battlefield in play. That'll do as a starting point. More spiders over here if you'd be so kind. Okay, I've got someone I can work with here. Treasury. So that's a good spot for, yeah, multiple nice easy meadows. Uh, got swamps coming in at the top as well. That's going to be a vampire slime, isn't it? Look, do not fight me. I'm a vampire too. I don't tell the people in the camp, but I am. Although, oh, maybe he doesn't... Oh, hang on. Maybe he has to buy his weapons. Okay, so stop. What are we going to do here then precisely? Oh, hang on. When you mean camp, do you mean actually after the run or... Ooh. I don't know. Because I don't see an option to buy stuff here. So... Oh! Never mind. Okay, just happens automatically. Gotcha. So... I mean, I shan't say no. Right, so yeah, he gets his stuff from uh, from here. Can I have some flipping... Uh, yeah, vampire stuff. I'm good at that. Right, just select whichever armor is superior. It's that one, so ignore the rest of that. You can just rearrange stuff here, which is uh, kind of nice, actually. So, okay, I've got, oh, I've got 10 million cocking boots. Critical damage chance. Okay, that's pretty good. Uh, no vampirism. Well, that's disappointing, isn't it? Right, all the rest of you are kind of dreadful by comparison. And then I've only got two weapons, uh, so... Uh, may as well just shove you in there. So, okay, you hit hard, but you also get hit really hard. I see. I see the issue here. But now, now we're golden. So, murder and stab and lovely, lovely and any chance I can get myself some. Okay, hang on. What does, what a treasure chest do if they don't give me loot? Do they give me, do they give me a thing in my bag? It might have done, I'm not sure. Right, so, 
when you're playing as the rogue, you need as many enemies as possible. Because uh, more enemies uh, means more loot. I say, I see what we're doing here. Also, if the game wouldn't mind handing over, you know, a mountain or two, I'd appreciate it. Because I'm seriously flipping ready for a mountain or two. There's some more stuff and we can just have a... Yep, keep laying down. There's the mountains. Good. That's some more health because uh, I am flimsy. I don't get shields because I'm too busy holding two swords. Which is badass, but you know, still problems. Right, take you out. More stuff, more stuff. There was my crit. Now, I could do with a couple of them crits right now. Okay, he killed. He kills really damn well. Gotcha. And he can slightly heal up, but I could do with a bit more healing, to be perfectly honest, actually. That'd be, uh, that'd be good. Right, have myself, yeah, uh, some Chrono Crystals right there. Might just miss out on the effect on this occasion, which is a bit of a shame. Let's make sure those spiders don't get too out of hand, though. Not uh, too much. Might have just got lucky there. I'm not sure. There's another mountain. Good, 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 good. There's another blooming field. Magnificent. So, how's your accuracy, buddy? I'm not sure that's actually a stat you can uh, keep an eye on, so whatever. Right, take out little goblin. More goodies right over here. So, okay. Maybe it also affects the, the quality of the goods. Like, if you fight more stuff, do you get better stuff? And also, seriously, me and you, vampire buddy. I don't know why we're fighting. Like, we should not be fighting, but whatever. Right, another really good mountain right over there. Shove a swamp over to here. Make sure that, yeah, the number of imps over here doesn't get out of hand. That's a beacon, which is, uh, yeah, speed up that path right over there. Right, let's bring in the stuff. And, oh, bloody hell, that was a good amount of stuff. In fact, I might have just trashed some of it before I even saw it. I'm not sure if that can happen. Maybe it just fills up your inventory and then stops. Hopefully that's the case, right? And then I'll also be having... Okay, keep an eye on this. What does the chest do? The chest does... The chest gave me two wood. I just broke the chest down to its wooden components without checking what was inside it. Marvellous. Okay, don't bring battlefields along when you're the rogue. Okay, armor I can either have, yeah, attack speed but limited hit points. Or no, just take tons of that. That's all absolutely fine. And then what? Ooh, 30% crit damage chance. Oh, that's, that's got to be the one right over there. And then it's just uh, weapons. So who's got bonus effects? You've actually got defense. So you're an absolute definite, yes. And then you've got damage to all, which is, uh, that's a big step up. You're the most powerful, uh, but that damage to all four. When there's flipping Spider Alley down over there, that's got to be the right way to go. Right, keep on keeping on. Oh, I like the Rogue. The Rogue's fun. Also Vampire Mansion. Right there. That also helps break open the uh, the treasury. Just one more. We'll deal with that. Then we've got ourselves a, a Forest Grove. This is actually the first Forest Grove. So, okay. Lay down that over there because that's pretty easy to take care of. Okay, so now Spiders... Like, so many spiders. Constantly never-ending spiders. But I appear to be one-shotting them if I can hit them at all. So that there, that's all fine. Lovely. Stop. Meadow. And break the bank. Good. Good, good, good. And I got stuff out of that. Right. So I can't get stuff out of chests, but I can get stuff out of treasurers. How's that armor, by the way? So inferior in terms of max hit points, but evasion and crit damage up. Ooh, that's... Yeah, I'm taking it. Screw it, why not? So, uh, yes, the chance of crit should be happening. Uh, oh, my. Oh, flipping my. Okay, so Captain Murderpants over here is doing an excellent job just killing ev Oh, I like this guy. Yeah, this guy's good. This guy's... This guy's... Oh, 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 oh my. Oh, flipping my. Right, okay. Yes, me and him can be friends. And I've not got a great spot to put my meadows down, to be honest. I can put them here for bonus healing. And seriously, I need as much healing as I can get my hands on. So, oh, he's just one-shotting everything. This is ridiculous. Maybe not Skellingtons, though. Skellingtons have... Wow, he almost did. He actually almost one-shotted a Skellington. And Skellingtons have a lot of defense because they've got shields and whatnot. Hello there, Imp Encampment. Oh, dear. It appears that you are, uh, you're all dead. 22. Just slapped down another excellent mountain. More groves. Oh, the groves getting a bit close to the vampire house, actually. There's wood. And darn it, one just got on top of me right there. And then murder Mr. Vampire. I mean, I do seem to be doing surprisingly okay. I thought this would be going much worse than how it's going, but okay. Right, 
Get over here. Lovely. Now, oh, bloody hell, that's... You're just gonna get... Yeah, I literally just used those for wood. It's, it's magnificent. So, okay. Damage to all. Defense counter. Counter's interesting. Okay, arrange everything. Let's see what we got. So, way more powerful Dirk. Whatever one of them is. And, uh, ooh, evasion bonus. My evasion is potentially of use. Ooh, that's, that's good. Uh, you're just not very good at all. Uh, and honestly, you, you're not spectacular. Right, uh, bring you in to replace you. And then we have got... Yeah, you just suck. Okay, you both are just terrible. Gotcha. Oh, never mind. Sorry, I kind of missed the pole arm down over here. That's much better. This armor comes with, oh, way more max hit points for only a tiny, tiny amount less on the crit damage. So, yep, we'll go over to you. Boots are underwhelming. Armor, we can leave you. Actually, those boots are... Okay, attack speed up. Evasion up. That's a lot of no. That's too much crit damage to uh, leave off. Because that's, that's a lot of good bonus crit damage right there. I like that. So... I mean, okay, we might be actually about to give flipping, uh, what's-his-face, Sans, or whoever he actually is, a, a bit of a run for his money here. I feel like we're doing a good job with the old murder. I'm actually in a position where I can almost one-shot the Skellingtons. It's so dumb. Right, the swamp is weirdly empty. Get a bit of health back right over there. Just hit that guy. He just dies. Crit 118. That's, that's more damage than Sans can do. And you guys are going to be... You guys are a bit dangerous just because you get a couple of free hits in. Just because there's so many of you. But we got plenty of loot here. Then into the wolf rat. Cleared them out. No trouble with that whatsoever. Then we got more flipping mountains in good spots right over to here. Then we got a nice area of crystals in a line. Seriously, me and this vampire need to chill the flip out. Right. Swap everything for everything else. And okay. What have we got here? Now, let's just arrange all this. Oh, I've got 10 million swords today. Okay, that one is garbage. That one just does a giant pile more damage. In fact, it's basically just... Okay, it's just swords that do a lot of damage. Gotcha. So the question then is, do we just want to swap this out for... No. Once you factor in the magic damage, the Dirk is still doing the job. Now, the boots could give me... Oh, more base damage. Oh. Well... Yeah, you know what? Yeah, 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 that magic damage right there. Or attack speed and evasion. Ooh, attack speed up. That's... Ooh, that's interesting. No, no, leave it. And as for the armor, no, I'll take the critical damage chance. Then again, I've kind of just abandoned that a little bit. So it's only 18% right now. We'll leave it for now. We'll leave it for now. But we should now be doing... We're not actually quite one-shotting on the fifth cycle, so that's unfortunate. Then, then there's this damn chest, which is just wood to me, because I can't think to, you know, look inside. Apparently that just doesn't appeal to me. Right, into Spider Alley, which just generates giant piles of dead things, uh, and huge piles of uh, meadows uh, and whatnot. So, okay, farming for the beautiful, beautiful people, and also the blood shall water my fields. Uh, excellent. Uh, so... Yeah, I'm not sure I'm getting back to the shop before Sand starts uh, showing up at this point. Because uh, another battlefield. Okay, that's that's garbage. Don't need that. Road Lantern. Maybe just stop the Skellingtons getting out of hand. Uh, that's a giant pile of health. Another nice house there for... Did I just summon a vampire to help the final boss? Because I might have done, you know. Right, everything's under control. I kind of want him to spawn at this point. So, oh, I've just created a blood path. There's a gargoyle. I'm kind of surprised he's only got 26, yeah, hit points. That doesn't seem like, oh, okay, he hits a bit on the hard side, but luckily he's dead now because, uh, seriously, so do I. Right, Harpy's now showing up. My health is looking dangerously though. I'm also out of potions. This is, uh, okay, maybe I should have tried to lean into the vampirism a bit more, but to be honest, I never actually found a single bit of vampire gear, so I feel like that's not my fault because, uh, yeah, we're, um, we're getting a bit dicey at this point. Like, I'm killing the Skellingtons before they even get an attack in. Which is great. It must be said. But, oh. Oh, dear. Yeah, we're taking a lot of damage. I don't have any defense at all. There's a little bit of bonus. I mean, I'm running out of everything here. Just slap down whatever you've got. And is that enough too? He's not spawned in just yet. But one more will do him. Take him out. Vampirism is... 
I'm going to die now. I'm going to die in a second. Bring him on. Bring him on. He's... Okay, he's not here for some reason. I kind of thought he would be here. I've got 19 hit points and I'm going into... Oh, no. I'm going to die to these goblins. Okay. So, in which case, yeah, it's time to go. Because otherwise, I will die. I'm 100% dying here. Right, the rogue's hilarious, but I need to practice with him a bit more. Okay, so a ton of bit more metal would get me the smithy. Then I could start out in uh, in good shape. More farms would mean I would have more supplies just piling in. But honestly, I feel like I'm fine for the moment. I don't know what a smelter does. Because yeah, until you've unlocked something, you don't know what the thing beyond it does. But the gymnasium unlocks the village card. Which also means I can start using the wheat field card I've already got off the farm. So at that point, I can start, like I assume, laying out mini villages dotted around the map, which strikes me as very, very bloody useful. And on top of that, we start opening up special traits for killing monsters. Now, that's got to be useful. So, just a tiny bit more wood, a tiny bit more metal. That would be all I'd need for that. So, okay, I want to dive straight back in, but, 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 I can see that if I do that, I'm just going to keep doing that for the next 14 hours. So, I'm going to end things off here, ladies and gentlemen. This here is Loop Hero, and... Uh, it's really good. It's really addictive. It starts off so simply. Like, it's got that good quality I'm always looking for, which is... It starts off so simple, then it gets really complicated and interesting super fast. It's very compelling. It's one of the most compelling games I've played in recent weeks. So, well worth a look-see. Link in the description below. I mean, I know it looks really simple, but there's something... There's something very compelling here. So, this will be back in a live stream. We're going to dive a little bit more into this, because... Uh, Oh yeah, basically, good stuff. Damn good stuff. Worth a look-see. Depending on how the rest of the year goes, I could see this vaguely muscling in on the low end of my top 10 games of 2021. This is uh, this has left a very good first impression on me. So, okay, need to play it some more, see if it actually deserves that. So, uh, yeah, keep your eyes out. Almost certainly, a bit more of this to come. But in the meantime, I've been John. This has been many a true nerd. And this has been Loop Hero. Thank you very much, and goodbye. I've created a small problem in my road system, which is uh, it's literally impossible for anyone to ever go back into town. And this building shall be where we produce our zebras. And this much taller building next door is naturally where we produce the giraffes. Does anyone remember how the road system went? I think it was something like this.